presentation of, of, um, that could be um, presented. And so I, I, I guess what I would like to do is suggest that the group support this as an updated sort of current real-time position for the organization, um, speaking to the issues related to the Sandag project today rather than last time we came up with a position some year ago. Um, and then just to say that I don't know how, you know, this motion speaks to concerns about parking losses, but also about concerns about CEQA. And so if we go forward with this motion, I'm not entirely sure how relevant, but if we need to go and review the Hillcrest, the, the original Hillcrest parking committee. Right, so item okay. seven may be rendered. It may be so this goes wrong. So, so, so you're I'm making a motion. I'll make a motion to, to, move, to move the committee's recommendation. I would ask if somebody could second it. I would be really enthusiastic to hear uh, what you had to say, Doug. You, you tried to. Well, let's go ahead and get a, let's get a second. Get second. Okay. okay, and so now it's time for discussion. Would anybody like to make a comment for it? Um, I, I, I guess I'm curious what specific adverse environmental impact we are referring to when it, it, the parking spaces and overflows in the lane widths reduced. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty broad. That passed 70 from the committee. Um, do you have anything in mind there? Uh, I think that um, there's. Where's the, where's the line exactly? It's the, it's the, it's the <coughs> bottom. The last paragraph. The last paragraph of her. So we believe there will be adverse environmental impacts related to removal of parking spaces and reduction of traveling lengths. So, so the one that we, there are, there were a number that we talked about, but a good example would be if you remove parking spaces, theoretically people will be driving around more to look for spaces, and so you would have more pollution, congestion. Now, you know, we don't know that, and a full sequel review would, would speak to that, and that's why we're asking. If I'm not mistaken, I think that was one of the issues with 301 University, the increase in traffic and the need for environmental review, I believe, but I'm not sure. Um, does that answer your question? That would be the, the one that I was thinking about. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I just feel like, you know, CEQA is often used as a Trojan horse to oppose something that you, for other reasons, don't agree with, but it's the one you know, kind of leverage you have to get a, a dialogue about these issues. And I feel like that last paragraph is essentially doing that. I don't I don't think the reason that this is up there is because of that. Well, this actually came about as a result of Sandag's request to um, get public opinion on the need for a CEQA review. No, I, so I, that I, was I, the I, impetus of the discussion. No, I, I, I understand, but I still feel that that is still not so you don't, you don't find there to be any real adverse impacts, it sounds like? Um, well, I, I, I guess I feel like it's, it's an easy thing to say, to just say, we feel that's the case, and so therefore it shouldn't be except for CEQA, so therefore it needs to be scrutinized, and therefore it increases the chance of it not happening. And I feel like if we're going to actually say environmental impacts, I, I, I actually think we should list them, or like really have the balls to state okay. what, we're, what so, we're standing for. So you could uh, make a motion, to, if you like, to um, articulate those um, adverse impacts, if you want, or we can just go on and get other comments. Uh, well, we can, let's have other comments. But. Okay. Anybody else want to comment, Doug? Yeah. Um, okay, well, we uh, submitted our input, thank you still, and I did sign at the bottom, but I don't recognize this except for paragraph one. Uh, we submitted what I thought very positive, constructive outreach to Sandag and the city of San Diego to make the artist's effort to replace these spaces, which is what we should have done two years ago, instead of fighting everybody. But we didn't, so now we're here. Uh, I think it's too late. Uh, they had said that they're, they've informed us twice that they're not going to do a, a redesign of the fourth and fifth avenue corridors. They're not gonna do it. They're not gonna delay this whole project or 16 spaces or 20 spaces in Central Hillcrest. They uh, does not require an EIR. It's not subject to CEQA, and it's almost through the process. Uh, so we've waited again until the last moment to come forward with something like this, which I think is going to marginalize us. So I would urge uh, the group to modify this, delete 
the sort of confrontational language and let's go with something positive and say, you know, we're willing to make a committee, we'll work with you. I'll even go on the committee to go down and try and meet and, you know, reconfigure parking. So but I just, uh, I, I can't support it like this. Uh, so just for clarification, the C4 hearing is in a couple of weeks, I believe. June 24th. Well, this is the last board meeting. And then the, yeah. the, yeah, the other thing, the last uh, thing I want to say is this completely ignores the concerns of Bankers Hill. This is our core project, and the other neighborhoods know it. We've been working on it for years, like you have. It is 47 blocks of multimodal improvements in our neighborhood, and we're not going to support anything that delays our core project. Okay, thank you. Right. The important part of this for me is that one of the ways they can mitigate <clears throat> that loss of parking in the core of Hillcrest is the mid-block crosswalks, and I really believe that would make the project better, and it would help with the parking situation because people would be willing to walk a little bit further and find parking a block or two further away from the core. And so I think it's important that we have some muscle in here and we, we're making the statement that we really do need to see that, otherwise you're not mitigating. If they want to mitigate by buying a parking lot for us, that's great too. Um, but that's why I got what I was asking for and that's why I can support the statement. Okay. Is there anybody besides Ben who would, as a talk, who would like to? So then go ahead, so, Ben, you can go there. So just really quickly, uh, we're not just talking about Hillcrest and the bike project. This is for all of us, Bankers Hill, IRR, Mission Hill. Yes, this is a and more So for me, that day. just relates to Hillcrest. I just want to make sure that we're covering everyone. If we're all voting on this and mm -hmm. it's saying, so, because I was told that I'm going to get a retaining wall and they're going to give me parking, but I haven't seen anything in writing. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say that if I'm, all I'm right now is I'm just saying it for the Hillcrest fact. Is there anything that we put in, or is it just that? So again, um, Elizabeth, I think, advocated for those things not being there because she felt they were a little bit resolved. But um, if you want to, again, make a motion to include certain things in here, um, you can do that. I think part of that, I, my understanding was that a lot of the things that felt like they were fair, fairly settled were kind of left out and things that weren't were added. I was just throwing but, it in there, but I just... No, I, I totally agree. Yeah, and I just feel like that it's just the Hillcrest, but we've all got our own issues in our, our, our own neighborhood. So, so again, the way to yeah. correct that now, if, if you want, is to make a motion to amend this. Selena, I was on the committee. I believe there should be the wall, uh, but it was my understanding that there was going to be a wall. There, that isn't one of those issues that's up in the air. It is resolved okay. from what I hear. Yeah, but if is. you would like to add it, I would support that. Okay. Uh, I, th I think uh, um, a little bit of frustration from, from my side that we did have a committee meeting. People did come to the meeting. Um, and uh, so uh, I'm enthusiastic for people to come to the meeting when we have them, right? Yeah. And everybody knew uh, we were having a meeting and um, it came out of the discussion that we had last month. So I'd love to move forward with um, uh, the, the, the motion and I, the, the idea that we're talking about the 23 parking places because that's the permanent issue, that's relevant. I, if, if we can put in um, something about the wall, I think that's great too. This is about having some sort of a position that speaks to current issues so that this organization can be involved in the discussion. Because it's like- okay, Thanks, Ben. So in the interest of time, uh, we have a motion. Uh, if, if anybody wants to modify it, uh, now would be the time. Otherwise, we'll go ahead sure, and vote on the motion. Okay, you make a motion to modify. Yeah, to add that the 47 blocks of multimodal improvements in Bankers Hill will not be delayed by this motion. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Personally, I don't think that's necessarily possible to ensure. Well, you're asking her to put her wall in. It's as important to us well, to no, have I, our I, improvements. I, I think that you're probably right by virtue of advocating for a CEQA review that, that may make the this process. This is just a, a position statement. I mean, it's a position that's statement. fine. I, think that's <laughs> right. I just wanted to, to give yeah, my Because opinion, you're so. discouraging us from working for our concrete improvements, but you're encouraging her to no, put her I, wall. I, I, I'm only commenting that I think that may not be possible, but. Um, I think that you should put um, I think it's your it's whatever you want into the motion, and if that's what it is, should it's it's our position that should not be delayed. Yeah. So, uh, that, so that's it's, let's make sure yeah. this reaches the of multimodal improvements. Forty seven blocks, blocks in Bakers Hill, thirteen north not. south corridors, and our three east west corridors. Where you want multimodal? Forty seven blocks of multimodal 